Hello, good morning. This is Mabema Reselling. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all doing very good. Getting some deals sold. So I've just got back from my local two charity shops. Um, I've spoken about them in a in an older video, but uh, they're two charity shops at about a, a five minute walk from me. I really like to to go there. One's a Bernardo's, but the other one's a, a quite an independent one. It's for lung cancer. So uh, the independent ones are usually my favourite because they usually got the better, the better deals in them, in my experience. So I've bought a few things. Um, I've had a quick look at them. Not much, not really in depth, but I've had a quick scan on eBay um, to see how much they'll go for kind of thing. So I've got a rough idea. Not not perfect, but rough. Um, so yeah, so I was just going to, I was just going to share them quick. Show you what I've got. Show you what I'm planning on kind of listing them for. And uh, yeah, that was it really. So I'll get on to the first thing. So the first thing I picked up was this Tavion Computing Home DVD Creator. So I did have a look in the box when I was in there. It is in there. It should be in this little window here, but obviously it's not. Um, but it is all complete. So it's uh, basically a kind of... It makes... It gives you the ability to convert old videotapes to digital format with your PC. So that is basically what it is. I didn't have any idea what this was kind of going to go for really, but anything to do with VHS, VHS tapes to DVD or the other way around, that kind of recording thing, is, yeah, they tend to go quite well from my experience. So um, VHS to DVD recorders, the actual bits of kit, they go quite well. So anything kind of like that, because there's a lot of people that have a lot of films on their uh, on VHS tapes that they want to kind of update. So this gives them that ability, really. Um, so yeah, so it was a single pound, which was another kind of factor in my decision to actually pick this up. Because for a pound, even if it doesn't sell well, it's uh, not the end of the world. And I'm sure it could come in some kind of use for someone that I know. Um, but yeah, so it was a pound. Um, quick look at this on eBay. There is one on there, disappointingly low actually. It's on for about six pound now, buy it now. But when you look at sold listings, there does seem to be a couple that have gone for about 20, 18 to 20 pound. So that is definitely where I'll be aiming. I'll be aiming for the more expensive, obviously. Um, but if I can get a pound even into a tenner, then obviously that's a little bit of profit. But yeah, I probably wouldn't, knowing that there's one up there for six pound now. I probably wouldn't go crazy and buy one of these again, but it's it's a learning curve. Um, I do occasionally like to test my gut feeling on things and just pick something up without, you know, especially if they're cheap. I like to pick them up and just uh, see what I can get out of them. But yeah, this is probably isn't gonna be the fastest seller, I wouldn't have thought, and it's not gonna go for the most amount of money, but it's interesting and I will be aiming for about 20 pound. So the second one is, so this is by far the kind of biggest uh, biggest fail of the day, I would say. So they have a strange kind of setup in this in this charity shop. Oops, they have a strange setup in this charity shop. It's so things are individually priced at one pound. The games are individually priced at one pound, but then if you buy two, it's two for a pound. So it's buy one get one free basically. So every time I so this wasn't the one that I actually wanted. I picked up another thing, which I'll show you next. Um. And then just as I was standing in the queue, kind of remembered that, oh, it's buy one, get one free. So I went back and just picked something up. So I saw it. It looks kind of, it's the old ITV logo. Um, you know, Britannia Games. I've had kind of dealings with Britannia Games before. I just figured it would be worth kind of something with it being vintage. Um, so they have a little sign that says everything has been checked and is complete. So I will obviously check it out myself. But thinking that this was complete. Um... But this is this is yeah. So it was 50p effectively, um, but these are going for like at most five pound on eBay. It's really heavy as well. So by the time you factor in kind of postage, if you're offering free postage, and it won't stand up either. If you're offering free postage, um, that's going to be a big chunk of your money gone if you sell it for five pound. So I'm wondering whether this is just worth throwing back in the in the charity shop pile, taking it back to a charity shop. I expected it to be worth kind of 10 pound given the age of it 
even though it's kind of an old fashioned one, I thought I, I bought it on the off chance that maybe it was one of those things that was kind of released at a time when I'm a celebrity was massive. No one really bought it because they thought that's a big gash. And then it's kind of become rare, which happens with a few games. Um, but no. So if you see this one out, don't bother picking it up because it's absolute terrible. Um, but yeah, this wasn't the one that I actually wanted, so I'll show you the one that I wanted. So this was the one that I actually wanted. Um, it kind of makes me feel a bit sick to pick this up because I'm a Liverpool fan and, you know, there's that kind of long-standing hatred between Liverpool and Manchester United. But anything like this that is kind of official merchandise of Manchester United sells well. But to be honest, all the top clubs in the UK, so Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, that kind of thing, um, Manchester City, if, you're, if you see official merchandise, it's worth picking up if it's cheap enough. This was obviously a pound, but then with the, the buy one, get one free, it's, it's effectively 50p. Um, yeah, so this is the 1999 treble winners. It's a 500 piece puzzle, but it's official merchandise. And then what I wanted to check when I was in the shop was that it was indeed from that time and it is. So it's got the 1997 copyright mark there. And so this is from 1999, basically. I wondered whether it was because clubs now will do kind of they're in a in a big thing of doing re reruns of their old shirts and they're getting into kind of releasing old merchandise as well like this again which doesn't have as much value to it because obviously it's new but this being from 1999 kind of around that era um yeah so i took a, i took a bit of a punt on it because i wasn't sure exactly how much it was worth it does say on the back there that it's complete and checked by mary but that says july 16 so whether that's July 2016 or but I've never seen this one in the shop before so I don't know um, I would imagine it was the 16th of July this year which means that it's been in there for over a month which is quite surprising really given the amount of Manchester United fans that are around um, so quick look on eBay this is fairly rare people have had rare in their titles the past couple of solds have all gone for about eight to, um, 10 to 12 pound I think there's one on there currently for £12. A couple have gone for eight, but yeah, so there's not many in the sold to be honest, but there's a few and they've gone for about that 10. So I'm gonna push, I might push 15, I might even push 20 on this. There's only one listed currently and that's brand new and sealed and that's up for 32 99 So obviously somewhere between £10 and £32.99 is where I'm gonna, I'm gonna level this one. Um, but I'm probably gonna go for about 15 or 20, I think just because with there only being one listing currently on there and that's quite high priced and it's brand new not everyone who wants this is going to want it brand new so I'm thinking I'll go for the 20 I think and then uh, really really should should be priced well at 20 I think um, and I guess it will probably get a little bit of traction given that it's a kind of consistent seller there have been some sold in the last couple of months um, if I highlight that it's kind of rare, I might be able to achieve 20 on it. So really, the I'm a Celebrity kind of doesn't really matter too much now because this is the other thing that I got with that bargain. Um, yeah, and it turns out to be a bargain. So this was the third thing. So the fourth thing is kind of one job lot I'm going to show you as. Mugs are weird. They're something that I don't ever really pick up because they're kind of ten a penny to be honest everywhere you go there's a selection of mugs but this is the one that caught my eye um, so it's kind of a, din a, a Disney but kind of more vintage whether that's just the design on it or what I don't know but it's kind of got that pastely vintage kind of thing it's very lightweight for a cup um, and then it's got on the bottom there I don't know if you can see that so it's Cole and Mason England so I have no idea um, that it's got England on the bottom, that it's an English kind of company, even though it says made in Thailand. It's not officially Disney, so this is obviously some kind of, but it has got the copyright, so it has been kind of approved by Disney. So this is obviously some kind of collaboration with them. Um, yeah, it's strange. It's just really lightweight. It kind of caught my eye with the pastel colours on it. Obviously, Disney are fairly strong sellers, especially in the kind of mug market, um, if mugs are something that you pick up then Disney official Disney store things 
tend to sell well. But this just kind of caught my eye. To be honest, I haven't had a chance to kind of research any of these mugs, so I don't know. So this was the same deal as with the with the games. One was a pound, or three were a pound. So it was not buy one, get one free, but buy one, get two free for some reason. Instead of just individually pricing them at 50p or something, they, they've gone a bit strange. But um, So yeah, so I was going to pay a pound for this if I couldn't find any of the other mugs. And then I found a couple of semi-interesting ones. So this is a... This says children's BBC TV, and then it has some like teddy bears, one with a camera, one with a sound boom, and one with a um, director's kind of board there. Um, again, it's England. Colo roll, colo roll. Um, never heard of them. I just found it a bit interesting because it's children's BBC TV, but it's not the BBC logo. It doesn't seem to be officially BBC branded anywhere. Um, and then, yeah, so I don't know about that one either, I need to look into it. Just kind of stood out with how strange it was. Um, I've never seen anything like that before. Obviously I've seen Disney mugs, not quite that style, but I've seen Disney mugs before, but I've never seen anything like that. And the other one was just a Christmas teddy bear thing. Um, so it's Teddy Bear's Christmas, an exclusive design, Roy Kirkham, made in England again. So. That was the kind of reason I brought this up because I've heard of Roy Kirkham as a designer kind of before and then it's 1993 made in England so you could make a, a case that this is kind of a vintage thing. Um, as I said in my last video I've started picking up a couple of Christmas items, I've bundled some DVDs, some CDs, I'm going to start bundling some books together just for Q4 just to get kind of sales. So start listing them probably October time. October time seems to be the real new time that everything Christmassy comes out. It's strange because you've still got Halloween to come and all that and bonfire night and things. But Christmas really starts in about October now um, in terms of preparations. So that's when I'm probably going to list this. I haven't looked into any of these. I would imagine just on gut feeling. It's hard to say gut feeling because these are like something I've never dealt with. <sighs> Five pound for the Roy Kirkham teddy bears one would be decent considering it cost me well thirty three point three three recurring pence. Um, this is a strange one because I need to look into the collaboration here, and again the material is really strange. It's like a plastic. It's I've never known a Disney cup like that. Usually they're porcelain, but this is plastic. And then this I have absolutely no idea on because it's so strange and different. Um, if I say just as an example, I'll shoot for five on all. If anything, this one's going to be worth less, I think. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think at Christmas, mugs are fairly decent sellers, things like this. You know, a decent brand. Um, they're all in quite good condition, just got a little bit of dust inside them is the main thing. Um, so they're all in great condition, no chips or anything on them. So, yeah, I'll say a £5 each, but then I might do a bit of research and one of these might end up being a gem, I'm not sure. So that's all I got from one charity shop. And then the second charity shop, I only got one item from, so I'll just show you that now. Okay, so this item is strange. Um, it stood out to me. So it's a PGA Tour collection medium, which... I don't mind medium, but I prefer large. Large is a better seller generally. Um, so this seems to be, yeah. So this is from the official PGA Tour collection line, which anything to do with the PGA Tour kind of sells well in my experience. I've only had limited experience with them, but it does tend to sell well. It's got a little golfing bloke on there. So it's some kind of like body warmer, um, sleeveless body warmer. But typing in PGA Tour collection body warmer into it, eBay come up with absolutely nothing. Um, to be honest, typing in PGA Tour Collection Medium Men's came up with almost nothing as well. Everything seems to be in America. And um, the only thing that came up for me was a shirt, like a polo shirt. Um, and that was going for $25 plus an insane amount of shipping. Uh, so like $40 to get it here. So obviously these are, this is kind of some kind of American well, obviously with the PGA Tour, but it, it's these are American-made and not really readily available in the UK by the look of it. 
So whether this has been someone who's gone over there. So I did pay up on this. I paid six pounds, which really is probably like, to be honest, three or four pound more than I'd want to pay on something like this. But after giving it a quick search on eBay, after not finding any kind of listings for anything like this and only finding one for a PGA thing that was in America and that was quite expensive for what it was, I figured I'd take the little punt on this. Um, yeah, obviously golfing is quite a big thing. People in this country absolutely love golf. People in this country love watching the PGA Tour. So it's not as though there isn't the, the market for it. Um, I just need to do some more, some more uh, research on it. So it's, yeah, it's quite well made. It's in really, really good condition. It, it doesn't even look like it's ever been worn, to be honest. I was checking to see if there any of this bottom part, because this is like the stretchy material, where any of that was stretched. But it's not, it's really, it looks quite vintage as well. Um, but I haven't got a date on there that I can find. But I'm sure the PGA, I don't know much about golf, but I'm sure the PGA Tour is... Um, logo is slightly different to that and it just all the writing looks a little bit aged as well all that PGA Tour all around it I don't know the whole thing in general just kind of looks a bit vintage um, but there doesn't seem to be any kind of indication of dates on it anyway so yeah certainly more in more research is needed on this well that made it go with more in more research is needed on this I need more information before I kind of decide my price but at the moment I'm fairly happy that six pound is it's kind of safe on this i think even if the worst comes to the worst it's probably going to sell for about 15 pound that's if there's absolutely no no market for it um so yeah it's it's really well made the stitching on that is really really good so yeah i just need to do a little bit more research on this um i'm going to take up a couple of pictures for my instagram this is probably going to be the instagram picture i usually like to to include the best kind of pickup that I think is the best pickup of the day as my Instagram picture just to talk about hauls and things. Um, so I'm probably going to use this. There might be someone on there who's got a, a bit of an idea on these things. So that is it really. I'm going to kind of cut it short here. Um, I've been going over 20 minutes with my last couple of videos so I don't want to do that again with this one. So thank you very much for tuning in. As always, if you like the videos, uh, please let me know. Think about subscribing and liking the video if you don't mind that would be really helpful um anyone who doesn't follow me on instagram already but wants to my instagram is mabema reselling that's m-a-b-e-m-a -E reselling um yeah that's it so thank you for checking it out and happy hunting <laughs>